hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Cinti Bear makeover and today i bring you another beautiful makeup tutorial but before we get started do not forget to subscribe and also turn on your post notification button so i'll be using my blossom micellar water to cleanse her face this would help remove dirt on her face it's important to clean the face before any makeup application <laughs> So next, I'll be using my Setter Feel Moisturizer to moisturize her face. So moving on to primer, I'll be using my Gentle Dove Mattifying Primer to prime her T-zone area. So next, I'll be using my Kiss Beauty Fix Spray to hydrate her skin. So next, I'll be using my Saving Mac foundation on her face. I'm just going to use my flat brush to apply it first on her face. So next, I'm using the same Kiss Beauty Fix Spray on her foundation. This would help melt the foundation. Then I went ahead using my Beauty Sponge to blend in the foundation on her face. <laughs> So next, I used my Kiss Beauty Fix Spray to lock in the foundation, then I let it dry a little. Moving on to contour, I'll be using my Zikel foundation in the shade 020. This shade is slightly darker than her skin color, so I'm just using it to contour her face. <laughs> to cream blush i'll be using my blossom lip palette so i'm just gonna take this orange shade from the same palette and apply it above her contour <laughs> So next, I'll be using my flawless ivy concealer in the shade creamy ivory to highlight her face Then I went ahead using my beauty sponge to blend in the concealer on the highlighted area. So next, I'm going to be setting her face using my Mirage Setting Powder in the shade Cinnamon. But before doing that, I went back using my Beauty Sponge to blend the areas underneath her eyes to avoid creasing. So now I'm using my Puff to set um, the areas I highlighted. You just want to set lightly. You don't pack too much setting powder while setting your face to avoid um, patches and creasing. You're the reason why. So next, I'm going to be setting the rest of her face. So I'll be using my Milani Compact Powder in the shade Light to set the rest of her face. So for dry contour, I'll be using my Adventure Oil Control Powder Palette. I'm just going to mix these two shades here and apply it on the areas I applied the cream contour just to set it properly. Yes, I'm in so next i'll be using these two shades here from the same powder palette to contour her nose Next, I'm using my powder brush to blend everything together. So I already baked her face using the same setting powder from Mira Cosmetics. So I went back using my powder brush to blend it again. So for the brows, I'll be using my carrot gel liner and my angled brush. I already applied brow tam on her brows. As you can see, the brows are well laid. I guess it didn't record. 
So I'm using my angled brush to draw the outline following the shape of her brows. Flawless Ivy Concealer, the same one I used in highlighting her face to highlight her brows. So I went ahead using my blending brush to blend the concealer on the highlighted area. Don't hurt me, my heart's in your hands. You got me, baby. So next, I'll be using this light shade from the same powder palette to set the concealer. You got me, baby, and I'll be using this shade here to set the inner corner of her lid. You got me, baby, so moving on to eye primer, I'll be using this Beyond eyeshadow base on her lid. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'll be using this shade from my Kali Cheek eyeshadow palette and apply it on the lid. So I'm just gonna blend it from the outer corner of her lid to the inner corner of her lid. This light shade from the same powder palette to blend out the eyeshadow. So, next, I'll be applying this shade from my Zara eyeshadow palette just to darken the lid. <laughs> then, I went back using my eyeshadow blending brush to blend everything together. But I'm so frustrated. So next, I'll be using my Beach Wave eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna use that golden yellow there and apply it on the inner corner of her lid. So I went back using my blending brush to blend the eyeshadow to avoid any demarcation. So next, I'll be using my carrot gel liner, the black shade, to line her upper lash line. I'll be using the same gel liner to line her lower lash line. To be away my patience stay up i feel so outdated how can we look the so next i used my zero mascara to darken her lashes moving on to blush i'll be using my tara blush palette above her contour the truth is so next i'll be wearing her lashes from chi lashes <laughs> So I went back using my small blending brush to dust out the excess powder underneath her eyes. So next, I'm using my Kiss Beauty Fix Spray to set the face. I wish I knew. So I let the face dry. Moving on to highlighter, I'm using my Mevas Glow Dust to highlight her face. So moving on to the lip, I'll be using this purple shade from my Blossom Lip Palette to line the lips. So I went back using this shade here to darken the first one I applied. So next, I'll be applying this peach color from the same lip palette on the inner corner of her lip. So next, I added a little TM Essential Cheek Lace on the places I highlighted just to make her face glow. So 
lastly i'll be using my case beauty fix spray to lock in the makeup so i let her face dry before putting on her wig and here comes the final look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please like this video subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification button so that anytime i post you will be the first to see my video thank you all for watching i will see you all in my next video bye guys